and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at Armors Plus. Um, so I had a, uh, I, you know, I had a look at the uh, marketplace uh, uh, page for this. I've not actually like played around with it yet, so I'll have a proper look. But I looked at the marketplace, you know, uh, where you buy it. And it looks cool. So and uh, and I've you know. I think it'll be a uh, cool, you know, cool to have, to have a look at it, so, and, you know, and it'll probably be a bit shorter. Um, also, like, new add-ons are coming out today, and I'm not quite sure, you know, obviously I don't know what add-ons, new add-ons are coming out today. All I know is that they probably are going to be releasing today, and, uh, you know, I don't know how many good ones or bad ones there are, and this, this will not only give me a bit of, like, Another video to upload, so I'm not planning on uploading a bunch of video, recording a bunch of videos because I got nothing. Uh, but also, yeah, give me a bit more time to record uh, the uh, new add-ons in case they are a bit longer, uh, or if there's a bunch of updates. Uh, but yeah, it seems, but it does feel like we are getting less updates to existing add-ons recently, though. Anyway, uh, to the uh, to the book. Uh, Armors Plus, add-on by Lewis Studios, Table of Content Armor. This add-on brings five sets of diverse armor, all including various effects as well as the possibility of mixing them together to obtain armor that uh, suits your playstyle. What are you waiting for? Give it a try. Recipes. The recipes for each Armor Plus are available, but each one is worth uh, the effort to make. How are ice bike? Uh, how's the ice bike armor made? Ice bike helmet. So it's blue ice and diamonds. The ice bikes. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in creative and uh, and just give myself these. Oh, it's half of this review will just be me crafting armor over and over again. So game mood. One. Uh, let me take off my current armor set. So it was ice bike. There it is. Helmet check. Oh. Uh, and you don't really need to see the uh, recipes because the book gives you them. And you, even then, if you don't want to look through the book, you just set, set it up yourself. So it gives you plus one speed and plus one ice speed. Uh, plus one speed, plus one icy body, and plus one icy hit. Plus one speed, plus one anti-slowness, plus one speed, plus one uh, super ice walking. So I put this on. Uh, game mode zero. It ha Is this as much as diamond? Yeah, it is. Gives you speed four. Uh, does it? Does this tell you what the effects do? Nope. Okay. So looking at the armor. Yeah, you gain speed, and then like so. There's ice speed, so I guess it makes you go faster on ice. Uh, I don't have any ice to test that out on, unfortunately. I guess I could just like, go into game mode 1 and get some ice. And just... Make um, a ice road here. So I'm on ice, so that says speed five, off ice speed four. So yeah, you get plus one. Oh no, I forgot about that. Hmm. Oh, and it also gives you frost walk by the looks of it as well. Which is cool. So there's a notion uh, over 
in uh, that over in the direction. We're gonna go there and the uh, uh, see how well this like uh, frost walker works out. So yeah, that that is a bit of like a pro and a con. Uh, Frost Walker, you know, using enchantment, uh, not any more difficult to get than any other enchantment. But it, uh, if you like Frost Walker, then uh, then you'll like it. That it comes with Frost Walker, obviously. But Frost Walker is also a very niche enchantment. And not a lot of people really use it at all, like having it on their gear, so... Uh, but there may be some people who uh, really don't like it because, yeah, it, because if, if you're doing like um, item transportation, I guess you can take the armor off, but if you're doing like uh, item transportation with like water streams. Uh, the frost walker is gonna, you know, turn that water into ice and it's gonna be annoying. So. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can't sprint jump. You can run. And you actually go in a pretty fast speed running. This isn't like a... Uh, I don't think this is a frosted ice. No, this isn't frosted ice. It is normal ice, so you could just, uh, if you wanted to, you could still touch it, probably. It would be nice if it wouldn't melt from underneath my feet. Oh, it's bugged out a bit because... Okay, so it does bug out a bit near the surface of water. Sometimes. Yeah, this is actually pretty good if you want to, like, cross an ocean. Does this work in a boat? Yeah. At the... But, uh, uh. So it doesn't work if you get in the boat already in the water. Or if I get out of the water, put the boat on the ice and then get in the boat. Right, so the boat on the ice and then get in the boat. Oh, it does kind of work. But it is like stopping and starting. Yeah, my school as well. Um, so this is faster than walking it probably. Um, I don't know if it's faster than boating. Probably faster than boating. Oh, and we're on the other side now. Um, yeah, decent effect. Yeah, like I said, you could also just like run across. All right, let's. Then we use this to go home. Teleport. Hume. There we go. But I do uh, like. I do like the idea of like instead of like having armor that's more, better than diamond in protection. Just having the armor that gives you uh, different effects. Like, uh, I think, uh, even though I don't use it too often, the turtle shell helmet was a pretty good idea, in my opinion, because it was. Because it's. The only thing that I don't like about it is its difficulty to go, because you have to, like, wait around for a. Well, it's not difficult, it's just time consuming. Uh, so, the lava armor. So, it's. Never ate scraps. Polished black stone and lava buckets. So this is a bit more expensive. 
So let's take a look at the la lava lava. Um, there's a lava boots that look just like Neverite, the lava leggings, the lava chest face and lava helm. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to check real quick. Can these armors be enchanted? Uh, there it is. Uh, let's just do it with the lava. Uh, well, let's do it with the lava leggings. Yeah, they can be enchanted with. Uh, yeah, with stuff, with everything. On swift neat protection and breaking mending. See. If you so uh, that's that's it's always nice to be, uh, have the armor be enchantable. So let's take a look at the lava armor. Uh, fire resistance, fire strength, and lava. Oh yeah, this uh, ice. This had ice hit. Also. Hold hold on. Before we move on to that, I want to test out this ice hit. So someone which. And it also like reduces slowness effect, so Oh So yeah, ice hits it slows them down. Uh so this gives you fire resistance. Is it lava strength? Oh are you can set things on fire now? So you hit something, you set on fire. So fire resistance, fire strength, and lava body. Uh, let me just get rid of that. So let's get a bucket of lava. Oh, am I? Oh, that's. Okay, that's cool. So this contain so ah uh, yeah it turns ah and if you if you're in lava you get strength too and regeneration too. Uh, so you move zero. Yeah, it just gives you strength and regen. And it is a bit annoying that it also um like converts. It's into the, into that, so you can't really do that too often. Uh, also, uh, bug here. Uh, the lava that's being placed is not flowing lava; it's uh, just regular lava. They need uh, that's just a simple fix. It's like uh, going into code and just like adding the uh, uh, flowing underscore in front of the lava and water because it happened with the ice boots as well. But if we go to the never, well, there's a wandering trader in here. So if we go down here, oh, there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. And you can just walk on the lava and go explore into your heart's content. And which part of the armor gives you that? Uh, lava walk, I bet. Yeah, so you, you can take the boots off and to remove it. Yeah, I'm just gonna head on back to home now. Teleporter home. So yeah, that uh, armor set would be perfect for the never. Uh, and I don't think there's 
any, yeah, there's nothing else on there. So let's go to key mode one. What's next? So that was lava. Ender armor. Uh, so that's obsidian, dragon's breath, and end crystals. Oh, this is going to be really difficult to get. Like, obsidian is not super difficult to get, but dragon's breath, you need to, like, use the empty bottles on the dragon breath attack while fighting the ender dragon, uh, which is something you can usually forget, that you usually forget to do while fighting the ender dragon. And end crystals are really annoying because you have to get gas tears, which killing gas is just pain in the butt. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's get the end. What was it again? I forgot what it was called. It was called. Uh, yeah, just end armor. And. Uh, let's just give you that. Boom, 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 boom. So this gives you anti-void, regeneration, super jump, and magnetism. Okay, oh, That looks cool. Oh, I love it. Uh, I should sleep real quick. So there's no hit bonus effect by the looks of it. I guess anti-void, like, makes it so you don't die in the void. So, let's test out all of these. So, oh, super jump. It's basically double jump. So you don't get the jump boost uh, potion effect. Oh. Yeah. You wait. Yeah. Oh, I am magnetize. I'm magnetizing them to me. So there's no special animation. It just makes it so you you just like pick things up from further away, which is cool. But it also means you can drop items. Also, having it this be a double jump instead of a regular jump is actually better, in my opinion. Oh, it would also help if I'm not in creative mode. Game mode zero. So if I double jump up here, we. So yeah, having it be a double jump, it, jump in my opinion is better. So then you're not to always just launching up the sides of mountains. You can choose when to use it and when not to. Now here's the thing. Yeah, no. I need. I was. Oh wait. Oh half heart. I was hoping that uh, I'd get my double jump back. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, no, the... Um, it's about to run out, it's about to run out, it's about to run out. Ooh. That's close, anyways. Yeet. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, Anti-roid. Yeah. Wrap it once. Oh. I was... Can't. You're not going to escape me. Ah. Uh, Hold on. The help of the game. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so we did the super jump. We've done magnetism. Uh, wait, regeneration. I'm not, I've not. Oh yeah, you do have regen. Regular regen. Uh, and then there's anti-void. I don't know what anti-void does. I'm... Oh... I'm gonna go. What I think it means is that if you like fall off the edge at the end, you're not gonna die in the void. At least that's what I think it means. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, so uh, you just teleport out. You just teleport out of the void. That's cool. 
That's actually really, oh, I didn't mean to double jump. Uh, that's really handy for uh, end exploration. Ooh, I left some XP last time, apparently. Yeah, that's a cool arm um, set. Um, I definitely think that um, the uh, you know it'll be really useful if you like exploring the end. Uh, you know, like end city raiding. Just having at least the uh, which one was it? Yeah, the helmet. Just having the helmet on for the anti void. Uh, I think that would be super useful, just in case you do accidentally fall into the void. Uh, so that is a like super cool and creative uh, ability that I would not have thought of if I was making this add-on. So there's lava, ender... Next up is the river set. Needs Neverite Scraps and Wither Skulls. Ooh. I think the chest plate, instead of having a Neverite Scrap in the center, should have a Never Star in there. And then you can wake that Never Star into like the uh, chest plate. Have a, a bit, be a bit like to uh, Iron Man's Arc Reactor. Uh, with. There we go, it's the Wither set. Chest plate, leggings, boots. So this sets to. Hold on. Oh, this. The helmet that doesn't look that cool, but the chest plate. Okay, the chest, the chest plate does look really cool because you get like ribs coming out to the your back. That is, that is a bit like metal. It definitely looks like something that uh, you'd find in the Never. Um. So it gives you more health and wither body, more health and wither body, more health and wither body, more health and wither body. Full armor gives you plus one boss bar. If I go game mode zero. Hmm, I don't know what the boss bar does, but if I some vin, a vindicator, and he hits me. No, he doesn't get, I thought he would have gone withered. So what does wither body? Oh, does wither body mean that I can't be withered? I bet that what's that's what it means. Um. Oh, and this gives me regen, doesn't it? Yeah. Just gonna regen my hearts real quick. Eh, yeah, not that quick. So if I sum with a bear, skeleton, yeah, no, it can't be withered. Which is cool. Uh, definitely useful for hunting river skeletons. Uh, I so yeah, can't be with it and you get more health. That's decent. Um, I don't know if it's worth get, getting like all the uh, Neverite scraps to get it. And it's not as good as diamond armor. Yeah, let's see what's up next. Also, I don't know what the boss bar thing is. Yeah, that was the wither. Wool farmer, so you need white wool and iron helmet, leather. White wool, so yeah, white wool, iron armor, and leather. Anyway, what does each of these armors have? Every armor in this add on has features of uh, 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 ice spike helmet. Speed when you equip this armor gives you speed stackable with more ice spikes for you. Ice speed, when you equip this piece of armor, you move faster on ice. Huh? 
Uh, ice by chest play skills, speed, ice body. When you are hit while wearing this piece of armor, mobs are slowed down. Oh, that's cool. And I say when you are hit while wearing this armor, the mobs are slowed down. Uh, speed, anti-slowness. When you have this piece equipped, you are immune to the slowness effect. Uh, speed, su super ice walking. When you have this, uh, it turns ice into uh, water into ice in a large area. You get fire resistance, fire strength when you're in the contact with lava. While wearing this, you have, we see 15 seconds of strength. Lava body when you are hit while wearing this piece of armor. Mobs are set on fire. Uh, when you have this uh, piece of paper, you have fire resistance, lava here, when you hit while wearing this uh, piece of armor, mobs are set on fire. The way the lava body when you are hit, wearing this armor, mobs get set on fire. Fire resistance, lava body, heat regen while in contact with lava, with, it, with this piece you have regen health as long as you are in the lava. Fire resistance, lava walker, when you have this piece equipped, lava turns into basalt in a large area. Anti-void, regen, super jump. When you have this piece of armor holding jump for long for longer than usual, allows you to make a big jump. Uh, magnetism, uh, with armor, more health with a body. Boss bar. When you have the entire armor set, you receive resistance free and a higher amount of health. Okay. That's cool. Uh, wolf helmet gives you strength and strength with wolf master. When you have this piece of armor, domestic domesticated wolves that heal over time with a, within a range of ten blocks. Uh, wolf chest play gives you strength and brutal attack. When you have this uh, piece of armor, you uh, can execute a uh, dash by crouching, uh, which uh, can also be done in the air. The dash inflicts damage, and the more Pieces of pieces of wolf army have the greater the dash's distance become. Uh, wolf of the uh, wolf leggings give you strength from wolf master. Boots give you speed and wolf master. Okay, so let's take a look at the wolf. Uh, so I bet this is just going to be a bit better than uh, iron. Yeah, by the looks of it is. Uh, so, dash. How did it say to dash? Uh, scroll all the way down. Uh, brutal attack. When you have this piece, you can execute a dash by crouching, which can also be done in the air. The dash inflicts damage. It's so I'm crouching. Hold on. What if I some bin another mm. indicator? And I crouch. No. Oh, and I died. Okay. I don't know how. I don't know why the dash isn't working. Oh, and I don't have anything anymore. Uh, so I don't know why the dash isn't working. Uh, maybe it's bugged, maybe not. Uh, he's going to go for me as soon as I get near to the grave, isn't he? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, go away. Oh my god, he almost one-shot me. I'm just going to lure him away. And then... i get my stuff. So, yeah, the armors look cool. And they're not... For the most part, they're not super difficult to get. And they do have cool and unique abilities and looks. Um... If I had one complaint, it would probably be um, well, the that the uh, that the river one doesn't it uh, uh, really? Oh, well, it's a bit. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like it did much.
Are you ready? Oh, there he is. Um. But yeah, there are some cool abilities, and they do, and they do, something that I like that this does that other add-ons don't do is that you can uh, mix and match the armor pieces to get different t uh, abilities and the defects, uh, which I think is cool. Cool, and they're definitely a big upside. And I've not, and I'm ninety-nine percent sure I've not seen any other add-on. Uh, do that with every other like armor add-on. I'm pretty sure you had to have all of the armor pieces to get the effects from it. Um. So it, that is, actually, I think the uh, power suit one. Right? I don't think you needed all the arm pieces to get all the effects. Um, but yeah, it's a cool add-on. Uh, definitely worth adding into your world because you know it's especially if you're like on a realm because then you can have, like all you know you're playing with friends. You can have like all your friends have different like. Armor pieces and stuff. Uh, and it just uh, make and it's always cool to just like. Uh, I think it would be cool to have like your friends all like different armor pieces, and especially if you like doing uh, a bit of role play. Like it, you know, if you've got a friend that's living in the uh, that likes a bit of role play, role play, and it's like living in, like an ice bike biome, they can. Have the ice arm, or if you have one that's living in the Nether or has a custom like fiery ba uh, biome, then uh, they can have the ELR, then they can use the lava arm and do a bit of like role, pl role play with that. And yeah, or if you just have one that wants to have like an army of dogs, then the then that uh, then the wolf arm is good for them. Uh, and uh, I would de it would definitely be cool to see like more armors be added. With like cool unique effects, I'd ra I'd rather, but I, I want to emphasize this. Uh, I'd rather the, you know, it only add like one or two more new armors that had, you know, that had like cool unique effects rather than ha adding a bunch of new armors that uh, weren't really that cool and didn't have many, many like you didn't really have unique effects when you think. Like, obviously, I I prefer them to keep all the current uh, quality of the armor. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, video. I hope you to see you guys in the next video. Um, now, uh, I have a Discord link in the description. You can uh, uh, talk to me there, or just like DM me if you've got like prep or if you got like questions. Or and I also like uh, send notifications out on there uh, when I start a live stream. So yeah, hope you guys. Uh, so yeah, if you want that, if you're interested in that, go join the. Discord, link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video, and bye bye